The actor's strike was initiated by SAG-AFTRA, the union that represents some 160,000 performers, on July 13, 2023, and is the first joint strike with the WGA. The reasons for the strike are twofold, increased minimum pay rates and increased streaming residuals, neither of which have kept up with inflation, and a more equitable division of the profits from movies and television. The actors are also asking studios for higher pay and to tighten regulation on the industry. Fran Drescher, the president of SAG-AFTRA, has been vocal about the need for change in the entertainment industry, stating that MPTP's maniacal corporate culture for greed must stop. During an interview with CNN's Poppy Harlow and Victor Blackwell, Drescher shared that 86% of actors on strike are paid less than $50,000 a year. The union is prepared to strike for at least six months. How are the studios responding to the actors' demands? According to various sources, the studios and the actors' union, SAG-AFTRA, are far apart on key issues. Negotiators for the actors' union agreed to call in a federal mediator to try to forge a last-minute agreement with the studios. However, the studios say they offered actors $1 billion in gains before the strike. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers AMPTP, has responded to the strike, stating that, a strike is certainly not the outcome we hoped for as studios cannot operate without the performers that bring our TV shows and films to life. SAG-AFTRA has shared a 12-page memo with its members laying out its demands and the studio's counterproposals. Disagreements over a wide array of issues split Hollywood companies and performers' union SAG-AFTRA in their negotiations that collapsed. It appears that negotiations are ongoing, but there is no clear resolution at this time.